Hello everybody and welcome to Excel video 284. I'm Nate Moore. I finalized arrangements today to speak for the Association of Dermatology Administrators and Managers, their annual conference in Miami next February. If I haven't spoken to your organization or society recently, I'd love to. We're going to keep working on pivot tables today. And today the topic is filtering. And what I mean by filtering is from this drop down arrow here, we can easily just pick by unselecting everybody and selecting Dr. Rook with just a couple of clicks we can filter down and just look at Dr. Rook. The other thing we can do is use these same kind of manual check the box filters from anything up here in the report filter area. Any field that we drag down to the report filter area will show up here so from location we can easily pick a location there we can pick referring physicians there. The other thing you can do is you can pick multiple items by simply check that multiple box and we'll turn everything off and we'll just pick two diagnosis codes. And now we filtered all the way down to Dr. Rook at this location, this referring physician, these two diagnosis codes simply by checking manual filters and, and by checking everything we can easily work our way back or change by simply checking different boxes and you can manually filter any way you want. Once you've got everything up here the way you want, well how did Dr. Rage do by checking that? Now it will show both of those in the row labels area. So that's what manual filters are about. If you have four or five like this, even if you have oh, however many referring physicians I have, eight or ten or twelve or whatever, manual filters are great. You can just check the boxes you want and go on. It works, it works just fine. The challenge is when you've got a couple of hundred items in the row labels, what are our other ways to filter? There are label filters that do a whole bunch of different options based on the row label or the text that's in this cell. There are value filters and those options are all based on the values over here in the pivot table. We'll start talking about those other ways to filter. We'll do it next time. Thanks for watching.